what's going down, Commanders? Just thought I'd give you a quick heads up on the uh, event briefing, give you an idea of what's coming at us if you haven't read the forums. Or if some of you just come and watch me do it, I've been doing it for a while now, so if you enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down, let me know what what's going on. Uh, the event's called We Know Cast the Die. Uh, starts today at 6pm GMT. Ends on uh, February 9th, 6pm GMT, same time. Uh, store closes on the 10th, same time, 6pm GMT. Uh, featuring the factionless, factionless unique unit sandstorm mark 2 this is this is untrue because you can actually put a faction to it uh, the sandstorm mark 2 tech plus jets and e evasive actions faction pilot gold tech for the sandstorm mark 2 a mega leviathan parts phobius pa phobius rick to parts war paint sorry got me confused there I hate fucking war paints so here's the sandstorm the faction the sandstorm uh, type air rocket weapons uh, weapons rockets even secondary weapon bombs targets ground and air damage type burst size is 750 a little bit too big i thought they would have made that a little bit smaller but it was the same as a standard air uh sandstorm uh health points what did i say it's going to be half a bill hit points at level one is t uh 423 million 423 million hit points at max level which isn't a great jump is 436 500,000. DPS at level 1 is 11 million, 11.5 million give or take. Uh, DPS at max level is nearly 31 million. Max speed is 3.5, which isn't slow. Uh, max range is 600, quite good range. Uh, talent at level 1 adds a higher priority Raven drone that respawns on death. Level 10 max Raven drone count increases to 3. Description in the stand. Oh, hang on, I balls that up there, but guys, Raven drone count increases to three at t level ten. So is that it's max levels at max is maxed out at ten, which isn't bad. Okay, uh, description: The Sandstone Mark II arrives to annihilate your foes with modernised long-range missiles, bombs, and drones. The Sandstone Mark II is an unstoppable force. Hmm, that's interesting. Some of the numbers there they're thrown out. The only reason you would upgrade it is for the DPS. The actual health doesn't doesn't matter. Uh, earn a st Sandstorm Mark II by purchasing all four pieces of the un its unique tech in the in the event store. You should have two parts already. You should be able to get three more, including the gold tech, I believe. Caught unawares, Greg and Jasmine must band together to discover the real or digital truth of their community circumstances. In Operation Cast the Die, com commanders will be faced with the mission track, the challenge track, earn huge amounts of XP, event XP even, and unlock the bonus challenge base for your chance at a huge XP payout. Use the, the event XP to purchase prices that we will know this in the event store. Maybe some of the newer P players don't. Right, Sandstorm Mark II. This, with this event cycle, the factionless unique voted on by the community was the Sandstorm with Operation Cast the Die, you can unlock the Sandstorm Mark II unlo after unlocking the last two pieces. Yes, it is, it's two pieces. You also get a gold one, so that's three, but you only need to get un uh, the, the next two to unlock it. Tech plus jets and evasive actions. Pulse jet, 750,000. Evasive, evasive action, 750,000. Doesn't look like there's a new unit. Oh, hang on. What's this? The Iron Strike are here with a new... Oh, it's the enemy, enemy unit. Prepare yourselves... As best you can. The Targ. I hope I'm saying that right. The Targ is a converted Hydra. Transformed into a repair tank. Into a repair tank by the Armoured Corpse. The Targes can heal allied vehicles. So focus on destroying this unit quickly. That's a new one on me. I thought they had a little robot. little dog that repaired everything. Even though they didn't work that well. So that's a new concept. I like that. <coughs> <coughs> uh, event structure, enemy iron, iron strike, story mission six, challenge base track, five missions, I think normally, or four, four missions, then a bonus. Uh, deployable units all. This is bog standard for the main missions, uh, two, two and a half thousand, three thousand, seven hundred and fifty. 6,250, 12,500, 25,000 and 50,000 for all the missions there. 
You can repeat the mission track multiple times for XP catch prizes and trophy levels, but you will only receive the elite parts on the first playthrough. Elite parts? Oh, it looks like the, yeah, the, it goes to 20. So, is this just the stats to 10? Or is there no boat, is there no, because uh, that, that only says 10, level 10 talent, I guess. There's no level 20 talent, it's just 10. Maybe they've, they've capped it at 10, that might be better for the players. So you don't have to get it fully upgraded to get all the uh, talents. Let's find out where I was. Right, this is bog standard again. Uh, challenge 1 is 50,000, challenge 2 75,000, challenge 3 100,000, challenge 4 150,000 plus your bonus. Which is 250,000, so that makes it 4, bang on 400,000. Challenge bonus base reward is 275, 275,000. And XP ultra base rewards in 500,000. If there's no new unit, there isn't a lot to get. I'm not I'm not worried about fucking war paints, that's for sure. Um, this is the standard shit again. Rewards from uh, bronze catches, series 1, bronze tech, one of each. Silver catches, uh, series 1, silver tech, one of each. Gold catch, sonic unit, all tech. I don't know what Sonic Unit All Tech is, times one of each. <laughs> Electric Magnetic Unit Catch for the Gold Tech as, uh, gold Catch again, I think. Templar Hop, Light Wastelander, plus two build logistics for each of them, I think, maybe. Don't look like no, no, no new units. That's a good, it's a catch up event by the looks of it, Commanders. Um, new to the event store, item Sandstorm Elite Parts, cap of 5, so you need to buy 5 at 101.1, 1, 1,150,000. Pulse Jet, Sandstorm Mark 2 Tech, 750,000. Evasive Actions, Sandstorm Mark 2 Tech, 750,000. Sandstorm Mark 2 Upgrade, Logistic, cap of 5, 325. Oh, you can, we can get some logistics. Uh, Sandstorm Mark 2 f Faction Pilot, Gold Tech, yeah, there's the Gold Tech. 900,000 each, so it looks like we have to buy all three factions, so that's three techs there, three different um, factions. Uh, Phobius uh, Rector War Paints, cap of 32 for each. Leviathan, no Leviathan tech, Leviathan part, elite, elite Leviathan part, elite Leviathan part times four. And that's just standard, the standard money uh, XP for them. It doesn't look like we've got a, uh, I'll have to scroll down a bit more. Uh, fa uh, faction pilot, standstorm mark two, effect survivors, pilot, corpus pilot and sentinels. Let's see what this sandstorm gains. The warlust survivor bonus adds a 360 degree minigun to the sandstorm mark two. Ooh, that's interesting. Sandstorm gain, gains the adaptive defense corpus bonus. Swaps raven drones for her herpes that can target air and ground. That's interesting and all. Um, Sentinel Pilot, Sandstorm gains the de Devotion Sentinel's bonus. Changes bombs to delayed energy burst. Explosive. Burst explosives. Hmm. They have thought about these, I think. I I'm not going to knock them. I'm going to get every single one. Excuse me, I have to have a drink. I'm going to get all of these, no problems. Um, and I will be trying them out. Delayed energy burst. Oh, I've read that bit. Rarity gold. Event XP. Nine, nearly a million each. Phobius re Richter, re Reactor war paints. And they're just the bog standard yellow, green, purple, and blue. And the user will lose it will only be 24 hours. We know that. Sector gold. I haven't seen nothing about the sandstorm. Nothing about the, not the Sandstorm, the Leviathan tech. I just want to read through us if there's anything quick. Leviathan now is getting some Mega Levels. We've had that for the last four events, three events, so. The Sector Gold base will grant you an Omega Leviathan parts. You can earn up to 20 of them, we know that. At the conclusion of the event, Sector Gold bases will be automatically, we know that. We know what the Sector Gold base is. There's no tech for the Leviathan. That's strange. That it's, it's not like Kickstarter not to put out a, Maybe they've run out of ideas for the Leviathan. I think the Leviathan could have done with something like what the, uh, what's it's got, the, what do you call it, like a drone spawning either side of it or an air, air 
the superiority drones, something like that. That would have been a great tech to go with that that slow unit moving unit. But obviously, Kicks I have given up with the Leviathan. They're ready to move on to the the next uh, uh, fighter company at uh, the next uh, next event. So we should see some tech for that, hopefully. But yeah, that's it, guys. I don't think there's anything more. Let me just go check, make sure there's no more information being posted. No, it's just about the downtime. That's later on today. Four o'clock, I think. Five o'clock. <coughs> Four thirty. Uh, other than that, guys, take care. Have, hope, hope you have a great event. Get all the shit you want. And uh, peace out. Bye-bye.